Um, I cannot believe that my henna video got over 1.3 thousand views. I, I never would have thought that that video would have gotten that many views. For me, a lot of views is like a hundred. <laughs> That's a lot of views for me, is 100 views. So 1.3 thousand views is a lot. Um, and I just wanna thank you guys so, so much for liking my video, commenting, and watching my video. Um, to be honest, it's kind of a boring video, but I'm assuming it's because you guys have nothing else to do because we're quarantined. So this is my update video. I just wanted to answer your questions. I did answer most of them in the comments, but I wanted to make an update video just kind of showing you guys what my hair looks like right now. Um, so this is my hair. I bought it. Yeah, there are extensions. Oh shoot. There are extensions. So um, they are, uh, let me see if I can show you. I'm in sweats, don't judge me. Um, they're about this long. So they're like around my waist. Um, they're around my waist. They're, they're pretty long. They're like 20 inch extension. If you didn't already know, I'm a hairstylist. Um, so that's probably why my henna video got so many views is because I'm a hairstylist doing henna. Um, and not a lot of hairstylists recommend henna just because we haven't really like experimented too much with it and there's so many brands of henna out there that they just all have different like ingredients and stuff in it now let's talk a little bit about henna so henna is a powder derived from a plant <sighs> do not buy your henna from lush do not buy your henna from any other company that mixes it with something else, okay? That is what hairstylists are afraid of because if you buy a henna that has anything else in it except henna, except the powder, when you go over it with a chemical, there is a high possibility that something funky will happen. Not saying your hair will fall off, but something's gonna happen. Um, so I've seen cases where the hair turns green, literally green when you try to bleach it. I've seen cases where the hair just falls off. It's just like coming apart like cotton candy. It's so, 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 so bad. Dying hair over henna. So as you can tell, my hair is darker. Um, I did dye my hair. Duh. <laughs> I dyed my hair over henna. It um it's pretty dark to be honest i did i think like a level three um like a 3n over my real hair if you can tell my hair is my hair extensions are lighter than my real hair but we'll get to that no worries we'll get there and you're gonna be like <laughs> anyways um, so I did dye my hair over henna. Nothing happened. My hair did not fall out. It was totally it's actually Shiny like it's so so shiny. My hair is still frizzy just because of all the damage because my hair was platinum blonde And this is like my hair's been growing up for months and I haven't dyed it. This is my real like um, It's my natural hair color. So my natural hair color is dark um, so just the fact that it was so platinum blonde um it was just so bad for my hair and my hair was like dry and crispy and frizzy like as soon as like it was blow dried and it was like hard to run my fingers through it it was really really bad um but as you can tell my hair is very like nice and healthy and very shiny and again that is because i did henna and a lot of stylists aren't gonna tell you that but okay, so what henna does, and I explained this in my other video, I think. Um, what henna does is it coats your hair strand um, and it makes it thicker and stronger. 
and that is why I wanted to do henna because my hair was so damaged I didn't just want to put color on top of it because it wasn't really gonna fix the problem it was just gonna make it darker so I did do two layers of the red henna the second time i did do the henna though it was basically the same color it didn't darken at all it just kind of made my hair a little bit stronger um so i'm glad i did it but it didn't like change the color at all and then what i did is i actually bought indigo indigo powder which is like a blue black powder and i put that on top of the red henna i did want my hair to be black and that is why i bought the indigo powder but it didn't turn out black because my hair was so porous um it just kind of made it like this brown color which i mean it was really pretty i'll insert a picture if i have it but i do know that after i did that i wasn't like super satisfied so i went over it with this color so i'm not actually sure if i have a picture of what my hair looks like after i did the indigo powder but if i do i'll, I'll insert a picture um if not sorry if for instance this is your um I would start with a 10 volume developer if you're going to try to bleach your hair and do a test strand. So like do it in the middle back of your head where nobody will see it. Put down a little foil in the little section of your hair, okay? Literally, like it can be this small of a section, maybe even half of that, like this. And just do a test strand. So put it in a foil, in a foil is best. Put it in a foil and then check it every 10, 15 minutes. I know that sounds like a lot, but um, check it every 10 to 15 minutes. Do not leave it on longer than an hour. An hour is the max time that a bleach has to lift your hair. You can leave it in longer, but after an hour, all the bleach does is damage. That's it. It's not lifting anymore. It's just damaging and drying out your hair. So put this in a foil, do a 10 volume developer with bleach. That's it, no more, no more. You just wanna see how fast your hair lifts the henna off. Um, if you were blonde and you did henna on top and you want the henna off, please do a test strand. If you just go and bleach your whole entire head with like something like 40 volume developer, your hair will fall off it'll it'll fall off like there's no like even if you use regular henna don't do 40 don't do 30 20 is okay but start with 10 like seriously start with 10 10 is the most gentle um developer basically what it means is one level of lift um and the bleach gives you like an extra depending on the lightener you have gives you like four to six levels of lift so the 10 volume is just like a little boost you know um so you don't need you don't need 40 volume developer you really don't don't do it if you're going darker seriously don't even worry about it slap that hair dye on do not use box dye oh my god do not use box dye don't use box dye over henna don't use box dye go to sally's um editing me here um i forgot to say why not to use box dye the box dyes that you use or that you can buy from walmart the drugstore whatever normally has a high developer in it so it'll have like a 30 volume or like a 40 volume developer um if you're like going lighter or something um it'll just have a high volume developer because they don't know, you know, what level your hair is currently at, so they always do a higher developer, which is why it damages so much. Um, so that's the reason you should not use box dye. Um, also, there's like other really bad ingredients in it, um, but yeah, don't use box dye. It's like it's like the best place. Um, I love the ion color. I I love the ion color. I feel like it gives you a really nice shine, ex especially the brilliance line. Go to Sally's. Just go to Sally's. Don't listen to the people that work there unless they're actually cosmetologists, because a lot of the times the people that work at Sally's don't even know what they're talking about, and they just like tell you to get something, and it's not even right. Um, if you're going darker, get a ten volume developer. You do not need anything higher than that. If you can get a no volume developer, that's perfect. Um, but get a 10 volume developer 
basically it's just deposit only it has very very little bit level of lift like it's one level of lift if if that if you're going darker it most likely will not lift your hair at all so 10 volume developer with whatever color it is that you want that's darker um you can even do it with red if you want like a brighter darker red do a red and do 10 volume developer you do not need anything over that okay now let's talk about my extensions so my extensions are so in they're like beaded row um the method that i have is called house of hair there's a lot of different methods for the way that you can put this in but basically what it is so you do this pattern kind of like a row of them in the back of your head and i'll show you guys a picture of what that looks like and you place it on the row of beads that you just did and you sew this onto the row of beads so that's what i have i have three rows in i have a mini row down here I have a longer row in the middle and then I have a top row. So I have three rows in because I have a lot of hair. Um, so in order to like blend it all in and make it look really nice and parted, I needed three rows of hair. Right now they're, they're a little tight, um, but yeah, I can put it up and nobody will ever know that I have extensions. So cool. So if you do notice my hair, my hair extensions are a little bit lighter and they have some highlights in because I did grab some lighter hair. So they have some highlights in. I don't know if you can tell. And they have some low lights right here. You can definitely tell. So it has highlights and low lights in it. And then my hair is just kind of like dark. Do you know where I'm getting at? So we're gonna, we're gonna throw some highlights in my hair. My hair has had henna. It's had indigo powder and it's had hair dye. Permanent, permanent hair dye. Let's bleach it. What? Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do a test strand first. My hair normally has pretty good lift, but we're gonna do a test strand and see how it turns out. And again, depending on how that turns out, I'm gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and if it lifts pretty good i'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my head well i'm honestly just gonna do this top part because i have my row where is it so this is the top row see how it's dark and then it just kind of fades into these like highlights low lights We're gonna do some balayage, ombre type of stuff on this like top section of my head just to have everything blend in. I don't know, maybe we'll do like a money piece, but I do have bangs, these are bangs. So um, maybe we'll not do a money piece. Maybe we'll just kind of do the ends. I don't know, I'm excited, I'm excited. Um. So yeah, let's do it, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the bleach. I'm gonna take you guys um, into another location um, in my house. I don't know where I'm gonna set up yet, but I will see you guys there. All right, I'm in my dining room. Slight change of plans, one second. A little bit more lighting. Um, slight change of plans. I, can you, this is like, I have a little bit of highlighter here, but you can't really tell. But like, look at this one, like, mm. Anyways, um, so slight change of lens, I do not have, oh, I do have 10 volume, but it's Goldwell. I have Goldwell and 10 volume, but then my lightener is Redken. I do this sometimes where I mix brands. It's not the best thing to do because you'll get the best results when you have the same brand one, but I don't have Redken in 10, um, but I have it in 20, which is a little bit higher um, developer. I don't know if I want to risk it but we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do 10, we're gonna do 10 in Goldwell because I really, I don't wanna risk. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. So I did maybe like half an ounce of developer, of 10 volume developer in there. And then I'm going to go in with like half a scoop of my bleach, that's me. That was maybe like a third. Do a little bit more. And let's mix this together. 
You're supposed to mix it one to one, but I kind of just mix it until it's the consistency that I like, um, which is not not super thick, but not super runny. Because to be honest, like to be honest, lightener just gets thicker. So this is the consistency that I like. Yeah, because it'll get thicker. So that's perfect. Now what we're gonna do. I love this because it has like um, the fine, the, okay. So I am gonna take it in the front just because um, I have to be able to see it. And I'm gonna be coloring my hair anyway. So I'm just gonna take a slice, like that thin. And then I'm gonna put, ooh. <gasps> I'm gonna put a foil down. Hold on, I gotta, I should have tore this up before. Again, not prepared at all for this video. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my God. Give me a sec. Give me a second. I really like this slice. I don't wanna lose it. I'm not at all prepared, but that's okay. It's a cold and rainy world. It's raging outside. Already me and all I can. Okay, I can kind of see what I'm doing now. So I'm not gonna go all the way to the root because I don't wanna I don't want it to be um Oh shoot, I think I went too high. This is hard. Can you tell I've never done highlights on myself? I have bleach on my hands. It's gonna burn. <laughs> Okay, so that's my test strand. We're gonna leave it in for 15 minutes and I'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I have not seen what this looks like. Have not opened it, so let's take a look. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Okay, there's some lift. And now I'm not... I kind of like how it's lifted enough for maybe me not to tone it. But it always looks lighter with lightener on it. So you know what? I feel like it's lifting good. I am going to leave this on. Um, and I'm going to do the rest of my hair. Okay, so I did one, two, three, four. I did four foils and then most of my bangs are here. So I only did three on this side. Um, so I can't really see the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oh, I have a clip here. Wow, wow. I'm gonna bring this kind of all forward. So I'm just gonna take sections from the top like this and do them like that. Um, hopefully that'll look fine. If not, my mom will help me. I'm flying out to see her on Thursday, which is Christmas Eve. So she'll kind of help me fix it if I can't see anything in the back. Um, yeah, let's do it.
Okay, I did do these like random pieces with like lightener on them. Um, I'm gonna leave this in for 30 minutes. In like about five minutes though, I'll take out this one just cause this was like the first one that we had on like the test strain and it's been on for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a cap on top of everything and just let it sit um, for 30 minutes. And then I will be back, I'll be washed out. Um, if I need to tone, I will. Um, if I don't need to tone, I'm just gonna wash it out and um, blow dry it and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, bye. Really quick, I just wanted to show you what this looks like. So this is my normal hair. Um, darn, I don't know if you can see it. You can kind of see it in the light. So this is my like grown out natural hair. And then this is the henna and the um, permanent hair dye. So it did lift a little bit. Um, you can see it, but my natural hair is like almost at a level, oh my God, it's hard to tell. It's like at a level seven, maybe eight. Um, it's pretty light, you can see it. Um, but the rest of my hair did lift a little bit, but again, it's like, can you see? There's like a band, like right here. And that's the permanent hair dye. Um, but yeah, so that's what that looks like. I'm probably going to go and smudge the roots with like a dark color. Um, and then I'm probably going to tone that because that's, it's a little brassy, but we'll see what it looks like. All right, I took you guys to my window so you can see a little bit better. Um, so this is like my natural, right? This is my grown out. And then these are the, this is, this was not in this, in the foil. It just kind of got mixed in with it. But this is basically what it is. So you can tell the ends are like a little more porous. Um, they're a little damaged, but they were already like that. Like if you look at the rest of my hair, you can, I have split ends. It's a little more ashy because again, it was like a platinum. Um, and it's a little more orangey up here. But that's, kind of, that's basically what it lifted to. That was our test strand. So this is already blow dried and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to probably do like a smudge root. And then um, definitely tone them. Okay, so this is what it lifted to. Um, it's very light. I know if I would have used anything... Excuse me, if I would have used anything higher than 10 volume, my hair for sure would have fallen off, for sure. So that's why test strands are so important. Um, I am gonna be using a little bit of Olaplex on this just cause it's a little weak, um, but it's still good. It's still good. Um, but yeah, it's a little dry. Whew. Um, okay, so I am gonna be toning it cause they're a little bit lighter than I wanted them to be. Um, that's a little bright. I'm gonna mix the 7GB with a 7NGB um, just for a little bit more pigment. And then I'll be back to show you guys what that looks like after it's blow dried and everything. Hey everyone, so it's the next day. Um, I'm at the salon that I work at. Just have to make sure the door's locked. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like in better lighting, cause I know I finished last night and it really was like not good lighting. Um, but anyway, so I just kind of wanted you guys to see how the hair turned out. Not my fave, but again, we're going to be fixing it, like I said. So this is it's okay. I kind of want a little bit more highlight coming in through here. Um, I'm definitely going to blend this down. So we're going to do a root, root tap. And then we're going to blend this little tiger stripe in here. Um, that looks gross. So, and then also my hair hides it, but I have a really nice, <laughs> that thing. Um, so we're going to be doing a root smudge kind of right here, right here, right here. Um, a little bit in through the top, kind of just right all over. Um, and then I did buy a toner for the rest of the highlights. Um, just to make them a little bit darker because they're still not... They're a little bit too light. If you can tell 
I feel like the rest of my hair is a little bit darker than like this just it just pops out you know what I mean so let's fix that and then I'm gonna be editing today so I'll be editing in here and hopefully I'll get this up today today's Tuesday and I told you guys I'd be it'd be up yesterday and it's not there's also construction in the back so this is the perfect place to film anyway let's get to it I'm gonna go ahead and mix um, I'll be right back I'll do a time lapse of me applying the root tap look at that ew Ugh. I'll do a time lapse of me applying the root tap and then applying the rest of the toner. Um, and then we're gonna wash my hair upside down in the, in the sink. So that'll be fun. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video. These are the finished results. Um, they are super soft, just kind of like I wanted them to be. I didn't want anything super crazy like how it was before. I just wanted to, it to like just seamlessly blend into the rest of the hair, um, just kind of get lighter as it goes. It is a little bit dark right now, but it will get lighter. Uh, you can see the pieces in here and it just kind of matches better. Um, I do want to do maybe like a few more pieces kind of in the front, kind of like the money pieces. Um, I just like my ball. Kind of like money pieces in the front. But this is basically it. I'm just kind of happy with it with how it is right now. Um, as you can see, there's no more like harsh lines. Everything is nice and blended. This is all nice and blended. There's no harshness. So yeah, this is basically it. This is what it looks like. This is the back. Hope you guys liked the video. This is basically it. This is the end. Um, I don't have anything else to say. So if you guys have any other questions, hair related, anything related you know whatever this is kind of just going to be like a random vlog channel i don't know um i really have no idea yet um i do have a couple more videos um that i want to put out there um they're kind of fun and entertaining um so one of the videos that I want to do is I'm getting braces. So if you guys can tell, my teeth are uh, crooked. Um, I'm actually missing a tooth on this side on the bottom. Um, I just wasn't born with it. So all my bottom teeth have like shifted to the left and they're like crowded and everything's crowded. It's not like super bad, but it's something that I've always wanted to do. So I'm finally getting it done. I'm just flying out to see my parents first and then when I come back, I'm just getting into it. Cause my mom's gonna make a lot of good food, you know, like I'm Mexican, so she makes, she makes really good food. Anyways, um, so that's one of the videos that I kind of wanted to, like I'm excited to film is me getting braces. And then um, another video that I really wanted to do is me kind of starting up my own business. Um, and setting up my studio, my workspace, um, which is right now is my garage. So just kind of setting everything up. Um, I'm super excited about that. So that's going to be one of the things that I'm doing. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned, subscribe, turn on your um, notifications. Um, 
that's it, I guess. I have nothing else to say. I'm just gonna edit this video and like try to get it out today. Um, Cause it's late, I'm so sorry. Also, I'm probably not gonna have a schedule to like upload. Just FYI, I'm just gonna upload randomly. I really just, you know. Okay, bye.